Hello YouTube and welcome to another Groundworks tutorial and this will be a very short one. Here is I will be showing you how to add a little bit of richness to your missions. In the previous mission we had to test the Vixen aircraft and it has been like you know just a very very simple linear mission where an aircraft engine would fail after some time. However, I would like that we try and do some things a little bit differently this time. So, I'm going to move these two nodes around. So, it's the same thing that applies. So, I'm just move, moving nodes around. Nothing really special in particular. However, uh, let's see how, how do I want to align this. Right. So, uh, let me see, can I select multiple ones? Yes, I can. I'm going to move these ones a little, just a little bit further away. And let's unzoom just by a smidge. I think you can still see everything, right? So, uh, this was very linear. Now, if I want to have things to happen in the meantime, uh, what will happen is, let's say, for the sake of the argument, that um, since I'm going to move these two, and I'm going to move these two like this, I'm going to call this the happy path. So that's where you're flying off the isle on the island runway and everything is fine and dandy. What I want to be doing is I want to be adding an alternative path and that will be to actually enrich basically my content gameplay and that's making, you know, game interesting for another player. So what I'm trying here to do is I'm trying to add alternate things that would happen in the meantime. So this is an information message where you get the what, what's going on. And I'm going to say, for example, for the test purposes, I want to keep this a little bit simpler. So let's put here 5,000. So you will reach 5,000 and then fly here. Minimum high 10, 20, you will still be a-okay. Good. Now, I want to add a little bit more tests. So what I will do is I will say test velocity. Now... Test velocity, let's say that if we get to more than 300 meters per second in surface velocity, we're going to be brutal here, guys. So, what we're going to do is, uh, if we go over 300, we will be exploding apart. And since we know the player's craft, we can actually highlight which part to do. So, let's say this will things will happen in parallel. So, bear with me. If the velocity exceeds 300 meters per second, the turbofan engine will explode. And uh, yeah, hold on. And that will happen. Well, it cannot explode obviously if uh, if it fails. So if the if it fails, we can uh, we can safely say, you know, at this point, this is node is no longer relevant. So it's only will happen until the vixen, you know, engine fails. If it fails, then we are basically good. However. Let's then do test uh, another test. We will be testing the altitude. So let me just see vessel destroyed, vessel mass, resource drain, fail, explode. We are being brutal today, guys. So we will do, hold on. I think we have test reach altitude. I think we have that reach altitude at the same time as we are trying to reach and here I said reach 10 kilometers when we have reworked it to be five. I have to be a little bit more accurate on that subject. And we're testing for five. Okay, so that's reach five kilometers. However, if we reach at any point 10 kilometers, 
So if we reach at uh, the altitude of 10 kilometers at the same time, what we could do, uh, I'm just trying to add basically part failures or, you know, let's see, fail part. And uh, since it's fix and one, apply to module. We could get a transmitter power, solar panel, engine, throttle, dead engine, generator, light stuck, reaction wheel, torque, grapple node. I'm trying to see if we could have lifting surface lift force. maybe or we could have uh, I'm trying to find a good one disable wheel deployment stuck doesn't matter let's say lifting control surface disable controls yes can be repaired no we are being brutal so if we get over 10,000 kilometers, our lifting surface controls will basically, you know, drop dead. So, and I'm also putting that until the, the part fails, so just for simplicity reasons. Okay, save. So, we have uh, multiple things that could happen. Now, let's test this. And you can actually, guys, apply it to any amount of so, to any different type of craft. So. We have multiple failure nodes. The happy path you saw in the previous episode, so I'm not gonna go through that one, but I'm gonna show you the alternative. Okay, these are some just remaining messages. So let's get onwards. And um, so as you can see, reach five kilometers, run and fly over. So you only see the happy path here in this case because that's what we said that those are the objective nodes. Now, if we try to go faster than 300 meters per second, I'm gonna make my job extremely easy. And, should be any moment now. There we go, engine blown. So, we were going faster, oh, oh, oops, I guess I forgot the engine, yeah, you, you might want to add a custom message here, and in that case, just make sure that you basically return them to the runway, and I think the message is kind of appropriate, so basically you would be able to go there. Okay, return to the mission builder, and test, yes. So that's one of the, ooh, this looks like fun, fail part. Don't worry guys, it's a feature, not the bug. Why is beyond me though? Well, anyway, we have another test that's over 10,000 kilometers. And also, if you want to really hide these, you can put like event node. And then they shouldn't be, so these are the objectives and these are the, nope, you are the event node and you are the event node. So, with that out of the way, let's try and uh, test the second one. So any of these things can happen, and that's why I'm what I mean by adding richness to the actual, you know, testing stuff. So, yeah, I also need to modify this uh, message, I guess. So if you want to fill your missions with content, this is exactly what you should be doing. And I'm gonna keep this very brief because, well, the, my time for recording today is rather short. So sadly, I won't have that much time to actually upload because I'm going also on uh, family vacation for the next week. So sorry if there will be fewer videos. I'll try still to post as much as I can and some of the things I already recorded. But then again, it will be less than usual. So sorry for that. You know, sometimes you just have to ha take a family vacation, I guess. 
But okay, let's now climb to 10,000. I could have set easily to 6,000. It would be the same result, I guess. But as you can he see, our surfaces are still reacting. We have climbed over 5,000. And now, I actually think this node won't fire because you have to be careful in terms of how you're setting up your nodes. Uh, let me just test this briefly. So that wasn't a good example, but uh, because we have already branched in another mission. So that's also a kind of an example what you have to be careful about. So I'm, I guess now then when I go over Yeah, over 10,000. As you can see, my reaction controls are still working. So you have to also think about branching, right? And also, if I now fly faster than 300, this node won't fire. Let's give it a try. And we go over 300. See, it didn't fire. Now, there's a specific reason to this. If we go to end test, that's because all of these nodes uh, have their originating point. And this node we already crossed here, so this wasn't firing. So if you really want that to fire at any time, you have to have this catch all node so that it catches every time. So uh, here I'm gonna put for simplicity reasons, altitude, let's say 6,000, so that we don't have to wait so much for the next try. And let's just quickly test it. Reset and continue. All right, boost and everything should be dandy. So now, even though the first node will fire, and uh, by the first node I mean reach 5,005 5 kilometers, the other node should fire as well. And that's kind of important thing to notice because otherwise, I mean, what would be the point of catching any node? So that's something I wanted to show you also. So you could have the branching path, but you have to really think in terms of how you set them up. I'm also going to go up because I don't want to be crossing yet 300 meters per second. So let's first have this node fire. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going for the 6000. Oops. And now none of my controls work. And we have actually jumped over. but we have jumped over to the oops message and since none of the reaction controls are firing we can only steer using the reaction wheels so we have actually if we go to the mission builder we have jumped from this state uh, directly to the fail part and also the engine has failed because i have set it up so but uh, yeah so that's another way you have to be careful in terms of how do you want to set it up. It's not an end node, uh, but you might want to set, connect it to the end of the message onwards. But that has been uh, the, the little tutorial on how to add content and richness with these catch all nodes. And I hope you like the video. So like if you like the video and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundforks signing off.